Let's return to our coverage of the G5 governors. The vice presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Kasim Shatima, says an eventual support of the G5 governors for the party's presidential ticket will serve as a game changer. Senator Shatima, who made the statement shortly after a rally in Lafia, was reacting to media reports of a meeting between the Integrity Governors and the APC presidential candidate Bola Metinubu. Senator Shatima described Governor Wiki as a heavyweight politician and optimistic of a collaboration between the APC and the G5 governors. Well, Wiki is a force of nature. So we believe that what binds us together as a nation supersedes whatever that divides us. Politics should be a source for national unity, not a cause for conflict. If their support materializes, which I be hope and believe that it will, I think it's going to be a game changer. We believe that the country is going to be better off. And most certainly, I believe we are not strange bed followers at all. We are contemporaries. We are friends, and we will have cause to unite for the good of the nation. It's a welcome development if it materializes, and we believe it will. Let's bring in lawyer and political analyst, uh, Bolanle, uh, Bolanle Olubani, for more on this development. Mr. Bolanle, uh, the leader of the G5 governors, the River State governor, is yet to speak publicly as to which presidential candidate the integrity governors will be supporting, mm -hmm. but it also hasn't denied meeting with Ashiwa Jubolatinubu. How significant do you consider this much talked about G5 decision that is being expected? Hello, I can't, I can't seem to hear you well. Mr. Lubani, if you can hear me, I'm asking how significant is this G5 decision that is being expected? Well, definitely it adds to the tally. It adds to the majority support for whichever candidate that these G5 governors go in support of. At the present point in time, even though the final decision appears to be under wraps and may be made available very soon, it just simply points to the fact that whosoever that the G5 governors give their support to uh, will eventually be adding to the majority votes of that candidate. We know for sure that the way it is right now, that support will not go to a northern candidate. It will not go to Rabbi Kwankwaso or Atikwa Abubaka because one of their grouses is the fact that they believe that the next candidate or the next president of Nigeria should come from the south. And so that support will go to a candidate from the south. And maybe I should have Ebola or Peter Obi. A lot of complexities come with um, inter-party collaboration of this nature, where you consider the existing structures of the different presidential candidates within these five states. But as we speak now, the PDP, there are reported threats that the PDP could sanction, suspend, or even sack these integrity governors. How much of impact do you think that we have? on their political standings in their respective states? Well, I think that uh, if I got your question right, what will the effect of that decision be on the G5 governors? If the PDP sanctions them as members? I think that what will happen in the circumstances will be that the PDP will have to decide whether with the open rebellion of non-support for its official candidate, the government supporting another candidate from another party, whether they want to take the G5 governors on in the respective state. By that I mean, will the leadership of the PDP decide to expel these governors and take over the party structure in these five states? collapse those structures into a structure that will be in support of their candidates? Or if those structures are loyal to the G5 governors, will the PDP, if they expel the governors from the party or suspend them, 
willing to create another party executive structure in the state for, to support their PDP candidates. So if the governors are in full control, they would likely take the party structure in the direction in which they are going, leaving the PDP virtually rudderless in the five states. And then Except the PDP moves fast to restructure and replace those uh, party structures that will be taken along with, by the government. We'll see how it all plays out, Mr. Lugba.